Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I got some packages in the mail. This one and also this giant box. Look at this. This box is almost as tall as I am. In both of these boxes are new air rifles and today we're going to be unboxing them and we'll just test them out and shoot, do a bunch of shooting with them. First up is the smaller box and inside a smaller box and a hard case. FX air guns right there. I guess we'll go ahead and open the big box too. This is a, a lot bigger box than this one. If you've been watching my videos for like the past few months, you might have an idea what these are. Cause I talked about getting them at one time. This one I'm really excited to open, but we'll do this one first. Save best for last, I guess. Is there more stuff in here? Oh wait, there is more stuff in here. This thing's like, that is a heavy box. Okay, that's all of this in there. Okay, let's see what we got in this box. This is a lot different box than my other FX rifle, my little compact FX Wildcat. There we go. <gasps> Moderator. A carbon fiber barrel liner. I think I got two. Yeah, I got, and also one for my compact FX Wildcat. And this is an FX Wildcat. Man, that looks so good. I've been wanting to get a full-size FX Wildcat for a while, so I've decided to get one. This is a 25 caliber. There's it with the moderator on. This looks so good. I cannot wait to shoot this thing. Get a scope on there. And over here is all my other stuff I got here. Got a couple of Element Nexus scopes, a couple of Atlas bipods, and some other stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is the best looking air rifle I have now. That looks so cool. Okay, I got these two boxes over here. I can't remember what I bought, actually. I guess we'll get to unboxing this and see what's in here. Got some JSB 25 caliber pellets. Now let's unbox this one. This one weighs like 10 pounds. So there's gotta be a lot of lead in this one. And this isn't a sponsored video. I'm not sponsored by FX or anything. I bought all this stuff with my own money. So if you're curious, now you know, I guess. But, oh man. We got some uh, slugs right here. Should I tell you what caliber right now? Um, sure. These are 30 caliber slugs, which just gave away what that gun is over there. It's a 30 caliber. Some more 30 caliber slugs. Some more 30 caliber slugs again. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a Picatinny rail for the 30 caliber. What? I thought I bought more 25 caliber pellets. Ah, I did order more 25 caliber pellets. It says they're out of stock of them, so I guess maybe, I don't know. Hopefully I get them later then. Got my compressor hooked up to the truck. Go and fire this thing up. It's almost actually filled up all the way. Might as well just top it off here, I guess. Here we go, got it filled up to 230 bar. First shot through the chronograph, see how fast this is going. 738. 850, whoa. Looks like it settled down around 920. I'm really curious to see if this one is as accurate as my 22 Wildcat right out of the box. So over here, I got a target set up 30 yards away. I'm gonna take a five shot group at it. We'll see how it does. Loading this thing feels smoother than my other one, actually. Like it is super smooth. That looked pretty good. Let's go check it out. That was a pretty bad rest I had. I was moving all over the place. I know I could do a lot better than that. But 30 yards away, man, that's pretty good. Five shots, basically one hole. I did pull that first one, that one over here. I definitely pulled that one. Just as accurate, or maybe even more accurate than my 22. Now that we tested this one a little bit, let's go ahead and unbox the big one. Oh, I'm really excited to see this. This will be my first 30 caliber PCP. Okay, here we go. It's all covered up. Check it out. This is a FX Dynamic. Oh my goodness, this looks super cool too. And check out the case, it's like all foam. So this is gonna be my like sniper rifle. I'll be sniping groundhogs with this thing in other videos. But this is, yeah, this is like my long range sniping rifle. Full size barrel, 700 millimeter barrel. And what's different about this one is the plenum is like around the barrel. So it's a really sturdy barrel. There's not a lot of flex to it, hardly at all. Actually, I don't know if there's any flex. It might be that rail right here that's actually flexing. Check out all this stuff. One of these gauges is the regulator and one of them is for like the actual air tank pressure. There's a bunch of other stuff right here which I don't really know what it is. I'll have to do some research on that. So I'm not going to mess with that at all right now until I actually know what I'm doing. And check out the moderator I got for this thing. This is, a, I think it's like a 12 inch moderator. 
look at this. Here's the moderator that was on the Wildcat you just saw. And here's the new one. So here it is with the scope on. This looks like an actual sniper rifle. Oh man, I can't wait to shoot this. I did buy a whole bunch of slugs, all 68 grain slugs, 30 caliber. So after we see how fast this shoots, we'll test the accuracy. Okay, first shot. Whoa, that was so quiet. It was only 700 feet per second though. Ooh, that was 815. Whoa, 832. Okay, this thing's getting some kick now. Oh my goodness. This thing feels so powerful. I think this might have as much power as a 22 long rifle. I don't know if it's going to be very accurate at this speed because slugs like to go really fast, like close to a thousand feet per second. I guess we'll set up a target at 30 yards and see how it does. Okay, I only shot four times and that is terrible. One, two, three, four, all the way up there. So it looks like I'm gonna have to do a bunch of tuning with it. I'll just see you guys tomorrow and we'll try messing with it more, I guess. Okay guys, it's the next day. I've been working at this all day and I've gotten nowhere with it. If any of you FX tuning experts are watching this, pay attention because I'm very frustrated. I'm about to chuck this thing in the pond over there. So I got the reg at 130 bar right now. I've tried this at 90 bar, 100 bar, 120, 130, 140, 150 and 160 bar. And the highest I can get this thing to shoot 68 grain slugs is like 940 feet per second. This is supposed to be like one of FX's most powerful PCPs. I thought it would easily be able to get this up to a thousand feet per second, but I don't, I don't know. And the accuracy at 940 is absolutely terrible. Each time I've adjusted the regulator, I've like brought this thing down to 13, because that's like where you're supposed to start it for testing and then usually I start the micro thing on three and then I kind of just slowly adjust it up um, after shooting till I hit the max till the velocity starts to not change at all and then I adjust the regulator up more and then I can adjust this up more and velocity increases. It's like this needs a way heavier hammer in here. It's not hitting the valve hard enough to let more air out and shoot the pellet out. So I'll just show you. I'm going to turn this to four and this is on 23. Regulators at 130. 909. 912 like the accuracy is just terrible too whenever like whenever I test different speeds the accuracy still sucks I'll turn this down to like there 17 see if that does anything 905 I had like the same problem with my first wildcat that I ended up destroying because I couldn't figure out how to get to shoot slugs But this is supposed to be a slug gun. This is made for shooting slugs. I don't know what's going on I can't figure it out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do I need that like a heavier hammer in here or Am I just not doing this right? I tried a bunch of different regulator pressures, tried adjusting the hammer each time, starting from low. So I don't know, I'm just gonna quit messing with this today because I'm sick of messing with it. And then my barrel is covered in water, condensation. So it's probably all gonna be rusty now. Oh my goodness. So it's a couple of days later. Got both the guns right here. We're gonna be doing some target shooting with them. Here's what I got to shoot. First, we're just gonna test the power of the 30 caliber and see what it does to this watermelon. And I'm also gonna shoot my truck to see if it can go through the bed. And then after that, I got some of these soda cans we're gonna set out at far distances, see if we can hit him with the 25 cal. Okay, so you can already see all the bullet holes on my truck from other times I've shot it. Here's what a 22 long rifle did. It just put a dent on the other side, didn't make it all the way through. So I'm really curious to see what this 30 caliber is gonna do. 30 caliber versus truck bed. Let's check out the damage. Oh my goodness. It chipped off so much paint. See what it does on the other side. Oh, just put a dent. About the same as a 22 long rifle. Okay, 30 caliber versus watermelon. See what it does. Oh my goodness. To split this thing completely open. Accuracy time with the 25 cal. So I set out some cans over here. Got one at 30, 50, 75, 100, 125, and 150. And I already got the reticle set up in the chair gun app, so before I take the shot, I just have to put the range in and it tells me to hold over. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the scope cam on and we'll start out at 30 yards. Easy. 50 yards is half a mil dot. And there's a lot of wind out today. It's like 10 to 20 mile an hour. So I'm gonna have to hold, start holding for wind right now. Got it. See what 75 is. Two mil dots. Ooh. 
got at that time. 100 yard is four mil dots. So it's starting to drop a lot now. Oh, I can't believe I got that first shot. 125, like six and a quarter mil dots. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you guys see the reticle. Oh man, if I get this first try, it's gonna be crazy. Oh, I got it. I got it like right on the top of the can. 150 is almost nine mil dots. I'm just going to guess the wind right there. This is gonna take a few tries. Goodness. There we go. It was like it more towards eight mil dots. That's it for this one. Make sure to subscribe for more airgun videos.